Here's your two motors. Start by side of this stuff. As you can see with the mask, I'm just going to wear everybody knows <clears throat> we in the house with it. So, I told you I had more than enough time for videos. I'm really behind, backed up. I have videos already on my page. I just didn't release them yet. And I, it's really only because I keep forgetting. <clears throat> I got shoes coming in. Got some shoes going out. I'm about to I'm about to check and see if like any storage unit places are open so I can finally get a storage unit because I'm making a promise. I've been saying I'm gonna do a collection video for God knows how long. I'm starting to sound like certain people who say it never happens. The only reason it hasn't happened with me is just I haven't had time. I, I shot a collection video years ago. And I think I only had like 80 something shoes at the time. And it took me all day to pull them shoes out. I shot the video, I think it was like 20, 30 minutes long or something like that. And then once I went to unload it, it didn't work. The, the video got corrupted or some shit. Just, in a nutshell, I shot the video, but it just went upload. And it was so draining, it took so long to shoot that video that I didn't have the energy to do it again. So next time I will have to have a videographer somebody do it for me so i said the best thing for me to do is once i get the storage unit popping i'm once because i i mean i have to put shoes in there so it makes more sense to do it while i'm doing that it's no excuse i'm doing it i'm gonna make the video at the same time as i'm doing putting the shoes in there which i don't feel like doing so i can't sit there and say oh well, i don't feel like putting the shoes out of the same floor everything's already set up so while um, until that happens I think I just make some videos of certain shoes I should have been did. Comparisons videos because I'm about to downsize. I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm just getting rid of, of a few things I don't need, like exhibit A. So, this shoe, I was waiting for a direction for God how long. Ben had the shoe. The shoe released, if not last year, the year before. So, it came out of nowhere. I feel as though Reebok should have like retro this a long damn time ago, but for some reason they did. So I'm gonna get into the shoe, and I'm gonna talk while I'm doing shoes. I don't. This video will be 15 minutes long. They know how I go. But as you can see, the Iverson. So I'm gonna show you the retro first, and then we get to the other one. But this is the answer one. Uh, white red colorway. Now, if anybody's a Reebok fan or Iverson fan, they know goddamn well they retro this model at least three or four times. And for some reason, every time they retro them, this is the only colorway they never retro. This is my favorite colorway of the shoe. Arguably, my favorite Iverson shoe, but it's a toss-up between this one and uh, the pearlized blue question toes or whatever. Uh, but this is close. And I'll get in the story. Uh, I'm going to try to tell as quick as I can about when the shoe first released. But anyway, just for some reason, they just never retroed the shoe. Like, the last time they retroed it, Swiss Beats had took over the company or whatever he did promotion. I don't know what he did, but he had a big part to play for Reebok having a reemergence. And he started retroing, retroing all their gems. And once he retroed this, I said, I already know this colorway is coming. Because usually when they retro... This model, they only retro the black and gold colorway, the first color, which yeah, makes no sense to me. There's three colorways to my knowledge. Right this one, Damn. the black and gold, and the all-star ones, which was they all saw. blue patent leather. It, from a distance, it looks like the black and gold colorway, but when you get up close, you see that it's blue, and it's fucking beautiful. I had that shoe, too. I only paid $40 for it, DS, but the only reason I got rid of it, when I walked, it just squeaked like plastic all day, like, because... The whole shoe patent leather, so I couldn't get over that sound, but I do want them back, but they're extremely hard to find now. But let's get into this one. This is the OG. I got this one way before this shoe was ever thought to be released. Basically, I was searching for this shoe for about five years, and I would never find it. And when I did find it, they would destroy it, beat up, and then if I found a clean pair or a DS pair, everybody wanted like $500 and up. Which I was not paying for no fucking rebut no Diet, no or Iverson shoe, whatever. But this was the this was the shit used to come in. It didn't have no Iverson box at the time. Now this shoe, like I mean, this box I'm keeping a box, but I ain't keeping the shoe. So I got my uh my pumps in here, my shacks or whatever. Yeah, I just got these not too long ago. I, I told you I've been I've been copping lately. Yeah, I just haven't been showing shit. I'm just I want to show you what came with the box. Everything came in. This is the actual receipt that whoever bought these back in the 90s. Uh, let me see if I can read it. 
Geller's Shoes. Where is this at? Providence, Rhode Island. Iverson, White Red. He paid. Mm, it was actually. Oh, no, it was one. $110 for these. This is a old school receipt, like real old school. It actually came with the brochure for the DMX system. This is the, the OG color that I'm talking about. They always retro like a hundred freaking times. But, and it actually still has the paper. Now let's get into the actual shit. Now let's get into the actual shit. This is the actual OG shit. I think I got these for like 150. They wasn't DS, but they were used. Beautiful condition. And if you look, I think I used them because I had laces in it. But if you look, they did a great job on it. The only problem is the red is super brighter on these. But I love that. Only thing I don't like about these is the bottom. Uh, see, like the. This one, the OG, like it, it's like a raw city red, dark red, cherry red, whatever, and it's like more translucent and it has glitter fit, like gold glitter. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is just like a bright ass infrared, kind of translucent with nothing in it. So that's about the only flaw I really don't like. Oh, I didn't even peep this. The, the Iverson logo is two different colors. Like the retro is bigger and it's said it's like a smoke gray, and this one is black, and smaller. I never noticed that. But for the most part, everything down there the same. And the crazy part is I didn't notice it until I got these. This is like a weird patent leather. Like it doesn't look like patent leather. It looks like it's leather and they painted a red coat on it, like a metallic coat to make it look like patent leather. But on the tongue it looks patent leather. But on here, it actually is the same way, but it has like gold in it. Like I never noticed that, which is crazy. And this looks like it looks and feel like actual patent leather. This one doesn't. So they got, I guess, a little cheaper, but the leather is good. I mean, it's it's, it's way stiffer. This is like super duper butterier or whatever you want to call it. But I'm a, I wore these maybe once or twice. I'm going once just to try them all walking around because I knew niggas didn't have these. But I wore it to sneaker con and I was selling shoes at the time. And for some reason, while I'm wearing it, Still my mine. foot just felt sweaty. I'm like, why does my feet feel so sweaty? Like, I'm, it was burning yeah, socks, so it wasn't that. But like when, we was when I was with my girl, when we were leaving, my sock kept falling down. Like I kept pulling it back up. But the more and more I walked, the more the sock would fall down. Like it was almost past my heel. I'm like, what the fuck? So when I got in the car, I went to take my shoe off. My sock was stuck to the shoe. I said, what the fuck? So I looked in the inside. Let me see if I can show you. I use this one because there ain't no laces in it. The, the crazy part, that was the, the insole. It wasn't the actual shoe. The insole melted. Like, it turned to mush. Like, I, it's still sticky as hell in here. Like, I tried to, like, 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 try to get it out. I can't get it out. It's, like, literally stuck. The only thing I would be able to do is take another insole. And put it in there on top of it. And that was the plan. I was going to try to fix it, right? So once I was about to fix it, that's when I found out that these was releasing. And the way they released it was weird. It just came out of nowhere. They they not they wasn't really retroing no answer one. It was retroing I think the answer four, and I think the five. like one of them other answers. But side note, uh, Reebok Iverson, whoever at uh, over there at Reebok, y'all are fucking up. I'm still, me and my brother are still not understanding why the answer two or the answer three has not retro yet. Makes no sense. Like, we heard talks about the three, but it never happened. We need them twos and threes, like, ASAP. Them blue and gray ones, I need two pairs of those. But anyway, so, uh, somebody from China that's, that's into, like, super into Reeboks kept posting these. China got them first, and I was literally trying to pay that price. Like, I think it was like 180 I don't forgot what they retail for, but they literally sold out. Because everybody, this is like the one colorway everybody wanted. It's the one colorway they never retro with. It makes no sense. I hate it when brands have a colorway. Like, they'll retro all the OG colorways. And they'll leave one colorway out. I'll still never say that. I'm like, same thing like with Jordan. The Air Jordan 12s. They had retro all the OG colorways finally. The only colorway they never retro at the time was the Cherries. 
And then at one point, they never retro the obsidians, but they didn't, they did, but they retro them low tops and never did it in the, the high top. So for a year, this just pissed me off. So I don't understand why Brian does, does this dumb shit. And so when they finally released, I, I, I live on eBay. So I went on eBay. This was like a week before they came out. I found them on there. Somebody was selling them. Why under retail? I don't know what the retail was. Maybe it's on the box. Nah, the retail ain't even on the page. Nope, it's not on here. So let's say it's like 150, 140, some shit like that, right? I think I got these for a hundred dollars shipped. So still to this day, all my friends and homies, they still piss that I got these shits for retail. Well, I mean under retail and early. So the funny thing was I did an Instagram video when I unboxed these comparing these. Uh, these held up ever since I had them, but for some reason, let me see if I can find it. yeah, okay, I use this one for some reason. Soon as these came in, these bitches fell apart. Like I had these for like three, four years, and I I told you I wore them like once or twice. Never had an issue. Only issue was the inside. I never had an issue on the outside, but now the glue is coming apart. I mean, the shoe is old as hell, so I'm. Figured that was happening, but it never happened until this shoe came in. It's like this shoe held on until this shoe held on to this one came. See, it's coming off. It's seen better days. See, falling apart. Can't do nothing with it no more. I don't even want to give it away to nobody because unless somebody like Vic Almighty want them to like throw them. So I have a lot of shoes that like they're not necessarily beaters, but they're not worth selling. So I'm going to donate them. I have a couple friends that are from Africa that like to uh, ship shoes over to Africa. I'm going to find a non-profit organization and donate them shoes. I'm not selling them. So, but this one I can't sell. <laughs> I just got to get rid of it. Uh, so, that's the video. I just wanted to do this video before I get rid of these and show that, like, finally the wait is over. Of course, things are different, but I feel as though Reebok is probably one of the best people to do retros. Because it's always to the T, and if it's not to the T, it's as close as possible. So, the, I told you, you've seen yourself, the only complaint I had was the red is off a little bit, and they don't have the gold uh, glittering. Other than that, everything is straight. So, with that being said, I'm going to probably hit, do another video with a, one more shoe with the same type of thing, and get to y'all later.